All right, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. And before I do get started, I definitely recommend you guys to check out the previous episodes. They're really freaking interesting. We find out the background on Ranrock and why he's really, uh, you know, has a vendetta against uh, against wizard kind. But uh, yeah, with that said, let's get right into this. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. What exactly is the purpose of like this whole astronomy class? I mean, in the description of the mission, it doesn't even mention that we were going to get, like, a new spell or anything. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, hello. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Um, let's see. I can't take your telescope. Yeah, why not? That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. All right, interesting. All right, um, I think I think this is kind of I think this class uh revolves. Jeez, I can't even speak there. Um, I think this class revolves around the um. There's like these tables around the map. Hold on, let me see if I could uh, show you guys one. Yeah, so there's like tables around the map. Uh, they should be here uh astronomy tables there we go so i've seen them across the map and i've always wondered what they were for so i assume this is uh linked to the astronomy class kind of like a side activity a dog, isn't it? this was his old telescope <laughs> looks practically brand new <sighs> a pristine professor shah I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. 
We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. Oh, that's, uh... That's interesting. I guess we learned something. Well, I learned something because I thought they were basically the same thing. Like, I thought astrology was, uh... Something you learn, and astronomy was the subject itself. All right, so that's interesting, and um, <laughs> it's also funny to know that she's beefing with the um, divination teacher. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. The real question is, what are the rewards for doing them? Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. All right, so before we go back to Emmett, uh, let's see what... Uh, oh, this fucking guy... Yeah, this is the kid that, uh, the Weasley kid who, uh, made me do a mission a while back ago. He's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make you a special potion, and he never delivered. Professor Shah's just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. Ugh, not how I wanted to spend my evening. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Our meat thinks he knows everything. Even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highland. Perhaps that's what Professor Shaw was talking about. You know, she kind of looks like uh, Sebastian's sister. The constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well... They are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Yeah, I guess I could join him. I was going to say, does it really sound exciting? Probably not, but why not? All right. I suppose I can go with you. I hope it's worth it. It will be. Trust me. I have read practically everything there is to read about this. It should be brilliant. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. A stone on platform. Street, some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Yeah, for some reason, this mission, like, since I started it, it's been giving me, like, um, 
Well, I didn't mean to do that. Um, it's been it's been giving me um like some crazy deja vu. It's not that Lumos. easy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Yeah, I was about to say I don't even know where to go. Hmm, a little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I expected. Confringo. Lumos. Our meat. Could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Lumos. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? There it is. Oh no, not this close to school, I mean. I was about to say, is he coming? The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Wasn't there a game that uh, was kind of like this where you were supposed to like line up constellations? I was going to say, is it God of War? But no, it wasn't God of War. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. That's pretty interesting. All right, so I guess uh, I think that's the last thing in the maps that uh, we need to discover, right? Yeah, because we already have the dummy guy statues, landing platforms, infamous foes. So yeah, that was the last thing we uh, needed, the astronomy tables. All right. Yeah, I probably got to be doing those on my own time. Uh, unless like another, like once I finish those, a mission opens up or something. Uh, they didn't even mention. Hold on. Let me actually check the challengers. To see if there's like any rewards for doing the astronomy tables. Okay, there we go. Uh, starry eye. Okay, so it's another um outfit. All right, so that's pretty cool. I won't say no to that. All right, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. It was uh it was interesting. But uh yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed once again, and I'll see you guys next time.